First things first, try and sweep the fish, not only in this series, but in the season series. And the Pirates have never swept a season series of seven games or more. And today it's Bailey Falter on the hill, the left-hander who Thursday against the Nationals, John did just enough, gave the Pirates five innings, allowed three runs, he got the win. Leading things off is Connor Norby over at third base. Ooh, did he offer? Yes. Three pitches and a strikeout. As Otto Lopez, three for eight, having himself a good series as well. And that gets a chase, and it's back-to-back -back strikeouts for Bailey Falter. Here's Jake Berger. How about that start? Strikes out each of the three batters he faces. And it's Jonathan Bermudez getting the ball for the Marlins today. Uh, Mel told me that uh, they're going to try to get about 85 pitches out of Bermudez today. Kind of Falefa, the shortstop. Ground ball to the third baseman, Norby. Scoops it up and one away. Here comes Brian Reynolds in 19 games this season as a designated hitter has driven in 20 and scored 16 runs. Line to right field and over by the line and kicked by Sanchez and it will be a double for Brian Reynolds. The numbers continue to amaze as the DH and the pitch. Hits oh Bart. that hurt. Came in with a fastball and hit Joey Barry. The Pirates look to jump out early here. Nick Gonzalez. Roller. A little bobble and a drop, and Lopez won't get anybody. And the bases are loaded. Loaded for Cruz. Oh, and the Marlins in the soup right here. 3-1 from Bermudez. Almost hit him, ball four. Give him an RBI and a 1-0 Pirates lead. Connor Joe will bat with the bases loaded. Drive to center. And this will be plenty deep to bring home Bart. Well done, Connor Joe. Sacrifice fly 2-0. His 22nd stolen base gets into scoring position for Brian De La Cruz. 0-1 pitch to DLC. It's a ground ball toward the shortstop. Otto Lopez has it, shuffles his feet, throws a strike, and the inning is over. So here's Bride to lead it off. Just way up there in the third baseman, Triolo, for the out. Here's Christian Pache. Fly ball, O'Neill Cruz. And six up, six down for Bailey Falter. And now Jerry Triolo is coming to bat. Drive deep to left field toward the wall and clear the deck. Cannonball coming for Big Tree. Number eight and a 3 nothing lead. He's taking advantage of this playing time here toward the end of the year. And he has really picked things up now. Reynolds who doubled back in the first. He's aboard. And now here's Bart. Fly ball out toward deep left. Stowers halfway onto the track makes the catch. And the inning is over. Batter for the Marlins will be Kyle Stowers. Outside with a curveball, ball four. There's the Marlins first base runner. It'll be tough to turn two, one, but they do it. Swing at a pop up in the infield toward short. Kiner Falefa is there. He's got it, and the inning ends. John McMillan takes over out of the Marlins bullpen and is greeted with a base hit to left field from Nick Gonzalez. Looks like he's got a little bit of an injury here. Not what the Marlins would have wanted. Looks like that might be it for McMillan. Looks like Xavier Curry is going to come in out of the bullpen. He'll get set to face O'Neill Cruz. Runner at first base and nobody out. That runner goes. This one is popped up. Norby racing over Curry trying to get there as well and it'll be Curry to make the catch and now Brian Dela Cruz that's a ground ball toward the shortstop and a shovel pass for Lopez to the bag we will hit the fourth inning started out striking out the first three hitters it'll be Norby and another broken bat soft roller to first base where Connor Joe will pick it up and tag the bag for the out Jake Berger with two outs and nobody on that's this one toward left center and just cruising over there O'Neill Cruz, one, two, three. Here's Triolo in a home run back of the second inning. He's got himself another hit. One out single. Two outs for Brian Reynolds. There's a ground ball off the mound. Takes a funny hop. Lopez steps on the bag, and that will do it. Facing Jonah Bride. Three balls, one strike, and inside. So the second walk, the second leadoff walk. And that'll bring the heavy hitting Jesus Sanchez to the plate. Bounce to third. To second for one. Oh, one away, and it's 
Christian Pache. There goes Sanchez, a swing and a miss, a sidearm sling from Bart. That's a little bit late. The lefty on a 2-2, swing and a miss, struck him out. Here's Stowers. A fly ball toward Cruz. And O'Neill Cruz makes the catch. Five shutout innings for Falter. Javier Sonoha will lead it off. Still looking for their first hit. And the 3-1. Swing and a pop-up in the infield toward first base. No second, excuse me. And Nick Gonzalez will make the catch. And a 1-2 to Fortes. Swing and a fly ball to center. Cruz started back on it right away. Read it nicely. Makes the catch. That's the second out. Connor Norby. 1-1 is hit back of third, caught by Triolo, ranging, getting Norby out, and that's six no-hit innings for Bailey Falter of the Pirates. Bailey Falter begins the frame at 76 pitches. He has yet to yield a hit. 3-1 from Falter. This is high. So all three of his walks in the third, the fifth, and now the seventh have come leading off in innings. Here's Jake Berger. Here to shallow center field. He's coasting in to make the catch. And now Jonah Bride. And there it is, the first hit of the game. Six and a third innings of no hit ball. And heading to third. Oh my goodness. Otto Lopez is thrown out by Billy Cook. His team down three. And that's a big second out. So the no-hit bid, longest of his career, six and a third. It's the longest no-hit bid by a Pirate this year since Paul Skeen went seven. It's the longest no-hit bid by a Pirate lefty. John Tudor went six and two-third against the Dodgers in 1984. Comebacker to Falter. He'll lob it on to first for the final out. Seven scoreless innings from Bailey Falter. Falter will return for the eighth at 88 pitches. Now right back up the middle and a base hit for Pache. And up comes Kyle Stowers. Swing and a little flare into center. Cruz coming on, still coming, and he slides and makes the catch hip high. Sliding feet first for the out. That is going to be it for Bailey Falter as he will go seven and a third innings. Great stuff from the lefty Bailey Falter. Seven and a third innings. Two hits, no runs, responsible for that man at first. Well, two on, two outs, and now Connor Norby. And roller get the batter, and Triola will do just that. Colin Holderman keeps it a three-nothing ball game. And coming on to try to lock it down, here comes David Bednar. So here's Otto Lopez. This one is a fair ball down the left field line. Bangs off that side wall. Lopez on his way to second. No throw for Billy Cook and a leadoff double. So now it's Berger. And he hits it sharply to the shortstop, Kiner Falefa, who got handcuffed on that one. And here we go again. The Marlins have the tying run coming up, and there's nobody out. First and second with nobody out, and here's Jonah Bride. He gets Jonah Bride for the first out. Jesus Sanchez to the plate. He got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And the Marlins are down to their final out today. Two balls, two strikes, two on and two out. Up the middle and through for a base hit. Otto Lopez will come in to score. And Christian Pache keeps the day alive for the Marlins. An RBI single with two outs in the ninth inning. Shelty's going to come go. out and he's going to bring in the left-hander, Beeks. Yeah, they're going to pull David Bednar. Now it's Kyle Stowers. Ground ball towards second and no play. The bases will be loaded. And Xavier Edwards has come to the plate. Marlins are now a base hit away from tying it here in the nine. In the air to right. De La Cruz is there and raise the Jolly Roger. The Pirates hold on. And for the first time in their history, the Pirates sweep a season series in a series of seven games or more.